think polluting areas that we share as world citizens is one of the worst things you could possibly do. I've gone, I've gone to the beach like m most people have and I've actually seen people pollute during being at the beach and I'm completely against it. I'm actually against a lot of types of pollution, actually all types of pollution. <clears throat> and once again, very negative, but I believe that it's a cause that many people don't notice until you actually like tell them about it or like show them pictures of different types of oceanic pollution. People, I don't think, understand how big our oceans are and how much um, we get from it and how much can be taken away if we don't treat oceans uh, the right way. And so there's a lot that can be affected by having a, a polluted ocean. You look at, you know, the soda rings that get caught around some of the, the waterfowl and other species, and it can't be healthy for them to be living in oil puddles and all of the other junk that gets dumped in there. I mean, a lot of aquatic life requires clean, pure water uh, to breathe. You know, fish and a lot of animals that live underwater pull the oxygen out of water as part of their respiratory process. Uh, if there's too much oil, um, they essentially suffocate. It gets into their body and it's, it's, not, uh, it's not good. There's a quote from Jonas Salk that says, if all insects on earth disappeared within 50 years, all life on earth would end. But if all human beings disappeared from the earth within 15 years or within 50 years, all forms of life would flourish. And so I do think that as we have become more globally connected, and part of that means transportation over oceans, um, we have been become we have become more liable for the pollution that's occurring in oceans. In one day at sea, the average cruise ship emits more soot than one million cars, and more sulfur dioxide than 13 million cars. Sulfur dioxide is a, uh, it's SO2, it's a colorless toxic gas. Um, it's a precursor to sulfuric acid and so if there's too much SO2 in the atmosphere, it combines with the water, just atmospheric water, and makes H2SO4, which is sulfuric acid, 
Uh, in that context, it's acid rain. So having too much SO2 in the atmosphere is going to cause um, lots of damage if the, if the concentration of acid rain uh, increases. People are 100% responsible for pollution in our oceans. I never see a dog or a cat dropping a wrapper on the ground and not picking it up.